What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and we're continuing on with the world's fastest, quickest, bestest architectural, Revit architectural uh, course and this is a just a quick course and this is part 5 so in this video we're going to be adding some uh, doors and some windows to our building. So this is where we left off in the uh, last tutorial and if you haven't checked all of those out, uh, check out the playlist in the description. I'm going, I've created a playlist for uh, these uh, this quick course. But before I get into modeling, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. And if you want to download this uh, actual model, check out my Patreon first link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the model. And now let's go quickly into placing some doors and windows. So let's go maybe to entry level. And this is where we need one door here for the entry, one here to exit to this terrace and a few more doors here for this closet maybe and for this room here. So to add doors, you can go here to the door command and or you can use the shortcut as you can see DR is the shortcut. So you can just type in DR or you can just click over here. Now if we open up this drop menu in the property section, you can see we've got some doors loaded in but this is only this like flat uh, plain wooden door family. So if I go ahead and let's say I decide to use uh, maybe this door and place it like this and as you can see if you come from this side It's going to place it opening to that side or if you come from this side It's going to place it opening at that side and you can hit the space button to kind of flip it around So I'm just going to place it like this and of course once it's placed you can always move it around But you can't move it to another wall uh, That's something you can't do and you can't move it over here outside of the wall It's going to just delete it So I'm just going to cancel out of that and you can here flip it around uh, if that's what you choose to do or flip it inside and outside using these little arrows Okay, so once we have this door in place, let's create another one over here So let's just go to architecture door and for this one. Let's use a smaller one So let's go with the smallest one and yeah, let's just place it maybe like that. Let's just flip, flip it around. So just the space key and there we go. Okay, but this door it doesn't have any windows on it. It doesn't have any glass and that's okay if it's a room door, but if it's a, an entry room or an exit room for the uh, or a terrace uh, door, uh, I would really prefer to have some glass under the door. So let's find something like that. So I'm just going to go here to uh, two doors and then you've got this load family option so I'm just going to click on that and now you can search for families and load them in so I'm going to go to doors and let's see what we have over here so these are some curtain wall doors so that's something we cannot use because we're placing them on a wall let's just search through these and as you can see uh, these are some pretty basic doors, but let's go here to residential. Maybe we're going to find something a bit more interesting. So this looks really good. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, and this looks good for the terrace. So let's go with this one and with this one. So you just hold the control, select those two and you hit open. And now you need to choose uh, which instances or which types. So you can just select the first one and the last one, hold the shift between them and select just everything and go OK. Uh, do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, wait for a second and there we go. So we can here open this up now and let's choose this door and uh, let's just go like this and as you can see you can go from the inside from the outside and yeah, let's just place it uh, like this exiting out. So maybe we can place it over here. So you've got that door over there and again as I said you can select it and just flip it around inside out or flip it to the other side but it doesn't really matter because it's a double door. Uh, then we can just click out of that to go again to the door tool and let's search for the basic one with a or a single entry and let's go with something like wait. Yeah, let's go with this one. Okay, you go over here and you can place it kind of like that on the inside, on the outside. I prefer to place it like this on the inside. Okay, so once we've got these two doors on our entry level, let's go back to our lower level and let's see, do we need some doors over here? Well, yes, of course we need some doors. So uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be adding some of those basic doors. So just go to doors, search for that basic door and let's go with this one and maybe place one over here one over here and for this this will be just a closet and for that I want to add a specific type of a door 
and for that door I downloaded it from Revit City. Now I'm going to be including the link in the description as well as uh, uploading it on my Patreon. So if you're my patron on Patreon, you can get this family easier. So I'm just going to load it in. So you can uh, insert a door just going by door and then load family or uh, you can go here to insert and then load family and now you can search for a door. Now this is on my computer because uh, I just downloaded it and I can go to, I don't know, downloads, you find your by full door that you downloaded and you just open it up and now it's being opened up in Revit. And as you can see now it's over here uh, now this is an interest but that doesn't really matter I, I can use interest for this project and let's use the f biggest one and let's make it like this so it opens up outward so I'm just going to place one there and one over here so now we've got this uh, kind of complex bifold door for our uh, two closets over here and now if I just go uh, to my 3d view flip it around a bit. As you can see here, we've got this uh, glass door for the terrace and here we've got this uh, just a, a glass door for the entryway. Okay, moving on, let's now start adding some windows to this project. So for that, uh, let's first go to, yeah, let's go to maybe entry level or no, low, let's start from lower level and add a couple of windows over here on this wall. So this is that foundation wall. So you just go here to architecture and you find your window command or as you can see the shortcut is WN so you can just type in WN and you've got your windows. Now let's see which ones are over here. I really like these two. Uh, they they kind of have these separations in the windows so that's something that I'm going to be using. So let's go maybe with uh, let's see what we have. Yeah let's go maybe with this one 1200 by 1500 millimeter and you just uh, kind of go over here and then place it so you want to have your windows open either on the inside or the outside. I prefer to the inside, it depends on the location where you're uh, building your building. So let's place these two next to each other. But the problem is we don't really know the height. As you can see, if I select one of these windows, it says sill height and it's uh, 0.9 meters or 90 centimeters, but that doesn't really give us too much information because it's really important because this is on the foundation wall and we don't really know where this earth is going to be hitting that window. So it might be underground. That's a big problem if it happens. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here to the south elevation, just double click this view and you go over there. And as you can see now, uh, you just need to double check that, that this uh, actual window is not interfering uh, with the terrain. So it's not kind of digging in the terrain. And actually just to be safe, uh, let's just move it up a bit. And to do that, let's use the align tool. That's a cool uh, tool to use for something like this. So you just type in AL for align. Then you click where you want to align to. In this case, that's going to be this uh, entry level uh, level. And then you select this window line. As you can see, if you go in, this is the line where the window actually ends. So you just click there. And as you can see, now it's aligned to this. And we can actually lock it in place so we don't move it accidentally later on. So let's try that again for this window. So just go select this, select this, and there you go. Now you can align it. And let's just lock it in place. Okay, moving on, let's go to uh, our upper level or our entry level and let's add some windows for this room over here. As you can see, this is this room is in dark right now, so let's add some light to it. So for that, let's open up the window tool and uh, let's choose this normal window, for example, uh, this uh, 9, 915 by 1220 millimeter window and let's actually add three of these. So let's place three of these on this facade. So once we have three of these, uh, I actually want the distances between these windows to be equal. So let's place it like this. And how do you do that? Well, you can kind of try to move it around and get these numbers to align, but that's really not efficient and it's slow and it's not really something you want to be doing. You want to have an efficient way of solving this problem. And how do you do that? Well, you do that by using a, a dimension line. So how do you use that dimension line? Well, as you can see over here, we've got this aligned dimension tool, or you can go to the annotate tab and then you can find aligned dimension, or as you can see, we've got a shortcut called DI. So you just type in DI and there you go, aligned dimension. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to go to this window and as you can see, when you hover over it, there is this little uh, kind of uh, horizontal line that's the center of the window. So just select that. Then you go over here and you just uh, click on this one in the middle and then you go to the final window and click on this one in the middle. And now we place this as a simple uh, dimension. 
And if you want to make now these two equal, you can just click this EQ sign over here. And as you can see, now they're equal. And now these distances between these windows are going to be equal. So now if we go maybe into 3D, uh, maybe spin around a bit and uh, look at this building, and now these distances between windows will be equal and the whole facade will look much better. Okay, and before we end up uh, with, uh, finish off with our windows, let's do something a bit different. So as you can see over, the, over here, we've got this big facade that doesn't have any windows or openings and it would be kind of ugly to have just a, a bunch of small windows on that so let's try to turn this whole corner of the building into a curtain wall so how do you do that well let's go back to lower a level and here you can select this wall and this wall over here uh, but before we do that let's first add a door over here uh, just to have some uh, some uh, way of exiting the building so let's go to architecture door and let's use uh, one of these uh, doors that we have upstairs so you just kind of place it like that okay once we have this door we want uh, this wall and this wall to be a curtain curtain walls so first let's split the portion of the wall that's uh, that holds this door from the rest of it that will be a curtain wall so for that we need to use the split line tool you can go here to modify and go with split line over here as you can see or again a shortcut SL is in my opinion a better option so you just hover over the wall and you just click there then you go to modify and as you can see now you can select this part of the wall as well as this part of the wall so you just hold the control select two of them and here in the properties panel just open up the drop menu scroll down a bit and find curtain walls and uh, just go with storefront uh, the reason why you should go with storefront is it's going to actually insert those uh, mullions and add all of the separations in the curtain wall so it's just going to look a lot better than if you use one of these two so just go storefront and there you go so now if we go uh, into 3D, and as you can see, this is like one of those pop-ups to save our project. So let's just hit save project here. Okay, and here we go. We're now in 3D, and as you can see here, we've got our, uh, our big storefront curtain wall, and our whole building just opened up a lot more, and now there is a lot more light coming in. Okay, so there you go. That's uh, all of the windows and doors for our building and we're going to be adding much more elements in the next part which is part six if i'm not mistaken okay so that's pretty much it for uh, this part thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video if you have any questions comments or suggestions make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and as always have a nice day